What's up, y'all? Fair, I'll give you a, just checking the fluids on the truck. Fair, I'll give y'all a little update on it. Uh, first things first, the headers, they still don't leak. Um, haven't had no issues with the headers themselves. Got my little janky old um, connectors down there. Those are the only things that give me problems, but that's on my, my fault, my part. But the headers, ever since I changed the hardware and the gaskets, I haven't had no issues with those whatsoever. So I still approve of these headers, 100%. Um, well, I don't know if you all know, but uh, about a year ago, I swapped uh, this 318 in from a 99 Dakota into this one, which was the factory V6, 3.9 liter. Um, there, give you all some little points on if you all plan on doing a swap like that. First things first, all the mounts, the motor mounts and everything, they're exactly the same. As long as you use the Magnum engines, they're exactly the same. They bolt up the same way, they locate the same way. So, if your motor mounts are good, you can reuse those, even though I do prefer to buy new ones. Um, V6 harness will work, but you will have to modify it in some ways more than just putting the wires for the six injectors, the other injectors seven and eight in. Um, the injectors, like I said, um, you will have to splice in injector seven and eight, like I just said. Uh, injector seven goes to pin 17 on the, on the harness connector for the ECU. And injector eight goes to pin 18 respectively they all share the same ground and I know these are no good to use on long-term basis but I put this in and I haven't had no issues with it one of these days maybe I'll go in and actually like solder that in and put the heat shrink on it and everything but it's been a year haven't had no issues with that, that type of a uh, splice thing and eh, it is what it is um, you will, since the V6 harness is shorter than the V8 harness, you will need to extend the wires with a crank angle sensor. Just three wires, cut it, splice them in, and you're off the races with that one. And you also will need to do the ones for the transmission, the overdrive selector, the speed sensor, and the neutral safety switch. Um, what else? Radiator, they're exactly the same, but you, as you see, I don't have a fan shroud on it because the V6 fan shroud is, won't fit. It like stops like right here. Um, water pumps are the same. Um, the hose, the rate, top radiator hose will have to be shortened up a little bit. I ran into that issue. I'm using the stock V6 air cleaner, which may or may not be good. I haven't had no issues with it. And that's really about it. Oh yeah, since I'm using, this is technically an OBD2 motor. I'm using obviously with the OBD1 computer. All the sensors from the V6 had to be switched over to this engine. So that'll be the intake air temp. The, yeah, the intake air temp, the idle air control valve, the TPS, the map sensor, the coolant sensor, and the, the crank angle sensor. Those all had to be switched over to run with oh yeah, the oil pressure switch. They all had to be switched over to this engine to run. OBD1 on this engine, so you can't convert these engines to OBD1 or OBD2 respectively. Uh, this engine was non EGR, so which wouldn't have been an issue anyway because the EGR passes off the intake goes into the stock headers, which I did have for a while. Obviously, these don't have EGR, so that may or may not be something that might uh, mess you up with. I'm not running the charcoal canister due to the valve 
in ports on the intake being different so I just kind of forewent that and I have this here to kind of stop a check engine light even though that did not work so that is probably something that's going to mess you up you can probably get an earlier uh, magnum intake to fix that because I also not don't have a temperature gauge on the dash I'm only using the one for the PCM the computer for the air fuel mixture um, so yeah that's pretty much about it I had this truck running like this for over a year and I'm pretty happy with it next thing is doing a five-speed swap thank you